Welcome to another video in which uh, we will learn what binomial expansion is by solving this past paper question. So um, all credit goes to Cambridge examination. This is their question. And you make sure to check my website explainingmaths.com for all my other three resources. So what's going on? It says that the first three terms in the expansion of 1 minus 2x squared times 1 plus ax to the power 6 in ascending order of x are 1 minus 1x plus bx squared. We have to find the values of the constants a and b. So we have to find out what is the value of a and what is the value of b. And as you can see, it's worth six points, which doesn't mean it's a it's a necessarily a difficult question. It means that we have quite some time for it. So how can we start? Well, what do we know? Let's first of all multiply these brackets out. Okay, so let's expand those brackets. One minus two x squared. So you realize that is one minus two x times itself, 1 minus 2x. So we don't necessarily need um, the uh, binomial expansion theorem uh, to do this one. Eh? So um, we can just do it old-fashionedly. 1 times 1 is 1. And then we do 1 times minus 2x, which is minus 2x, and minus 2x times 1. So another minus 2x, so minus 4x, and then we have plus 4x squared. So actually, this part are three terms. So if I rewrite the question now, it actually says 1 minus 4x plus 4x squared multiplied by 1 plus ax to the power 6. So to continue now, we will have to multiply 1 by every term uh, after expanding 1 plus ax to the power 6 and then minus 4x multiplied by all those terms and 4x squared by all those terms. But we're not interested in all those terms. We are only interested in the constant x to the power 1 and the x to the power 2 term. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to find out the first few terms of that part. So uh, the first one is um, so 6 is 6. 0, 1 to the power 6, plus ax to the power 0, plus, and then the second term, so hopefully by now you are quite fluent uh, in doing this, uh, ax to the power 1, let's do another one, so that's 6, 2, 1 to the power 4, ax squared, and I say plus and some dots, and plus and some dots, because that reminds me that I'm only doing the first three terms of the expansion, but actually, if I need to, there are more terms to follow. So now if we work out those three terms, uh, so that's 1 times 1 times 1, and to the power 0 is 1, so that first term will be 1 plus. Then the second term, I'm trying to uh, save some space, I'm doing a few steps in 1. So this is 6, and your calculator can calculate it for you, or you can use Pascal's triangle. So 6 times 1, so that is 6 times ax, so that is going to be... 6ax, and then that third term, uh, again, Pascal's triangle or your calculator, will give you 15 times 1, so it's 15 plus ax squared, 15, sorry, I should say a squared x squared, yeah, because also the a needs to be squared as well as the x. And again, I'm going to say plus and some dots because there are more terms to follow. However, I don't think I'm going to need them. And in front of that, in front of those three terms, uh, I'm going to write these three terms, uh, which is the expansion of that first part. Okay, so what happens now? I have to do 1 times 1 here to expand uh, these uh, two brackets. 1 times 1, 1 times 6ax, 1 times 15a squared x squared, 1 times the next term, and 1 times the next term. And when I've done all of those, I have to do minus 4x times 1, minus 4x times 6ax, and multiply all the terms inside these brackets by minus 4x after which I have to multiply all of them by 4x squared. But I'm only interested, like I said before, in those three terms. So 1, you're only going to get a constant 1 by multiplying those first two terms. 1 times 1 is 1. And then I'm going to look, when am I going to get a term in x, uh, x to the power 1? Well, two of them. Because if I do 1 times 6ax, that is a term in x. So that 1 times 6ax is 6ax. But there is another term in x because minus 4x times 1 is also a term in x. Let me write that down. Minus 4x times 1 
is minus 4x. So the term in x, if I factorize that, is 6a minus 4. So the coefficient 6a minus 4x. So I took out the x, 6a minus 4. And apparently that equals to minus 1. So 6a minus 4 is the coefficient minus 1. And if I solve that, I get 6a is minus 1 plus 4, which is 3. So a is 3 divided by 6, which is 1 over 2. So there you go, that's a. I'm going to do a similar thing for b. That's the x squared term. When am I going to, do, uh, going to get x squared? Well, let's find out. First of all, if I times 1 by the x squared term itself, I'm going to get something in x squared. So let's do that in red. Um, 1 times 15a squared x squared, uh, which is 15a squared x squared. So that's a term in x squared after the expansion. But there are more, because if I do minus 4x times the term in x on the other side, I am also, or again, getting something in x squared, because minus 4x times 6ax is minus 24 ax squared. There you go. And there is one more, because 4x squared times 1 is also a term in x squared if I would expand those two sets of brackets, which is 4x squared. And those are all my terms in x squared, and if I would add them up, I get bx squared. So um, let's find the, let's factorize this. So the common factor x squared, 15a squared minus 24a plus 4x squared has to equal b x squared yeah so 15 a squared minus 24 a plus 4 equals b you already know the value of a is a half so we can substitute that now into this equation <clears throat> excuse me and then you will get 15 times a squared yeah? so a half squared which is a quarter minus 24 times a half plus 4 equals b and if you work it out properly uh, the value of b is going to be minus four and a quarter. So I hope that was useful. Uh, a nice question about binomial expansion. Check my website explainingmaths.com for all the other free resources and take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.